I'm just trying to see what it would look like. In my head, I have imagined these pulled up. Be gentle, be gentle. Be gentle. Be gentle. Yeah. I love these. I had imagined them up in a ball, and then some of the little curls kind of hanging out. Kind of real bohemian-ish. So all of them? Yeah. Okay, I see what you yeah, I'm gonna pull them all up. All right. Yeah, I might have so late. Listen, your people on the social media was like, yeah, dang, sis has been brushing forever. I'm like, ma'am, this scene has been split up. You don't even know how long we've been brushing hair. Negroes. But what they were saying? Tell me some dang, how many times sis gonna brush her hair? <laughs> I said, this scene has been cut and split. And we did this ponytail two times. Better get out of my bag. They didn't try you. Know? They tried to try me, but I ain't letting them hold me down. That's how they, that's how they did me for my hair. Baby. When I posted that black makeup on my face on the, in the morning, I had so many DMs. It was like, oh no, Toya, you are not doing this. I'm like, what? <laughs> it was like, this is not it. This is like, I'm, I'm offended. I'm like, okay, I can get why, you know what I'm saying? So many people was like, what the f But you have to do your research and understand the whole Zulu culture and what it, you know, what, it's all about it, what it represents. It's not mm -hmm. the black face. Like, these people been painting their faces black for years because at one point, I heard when I was growing up, they used to always say they couldn't afford costumes and stuff. So instead of getting like black masks, they would paint their face. But the whole entire Zulu organization, like everybody wears the black face makeup. That's what Zulu is known for in New Orleans. Mm -hmm. And uh, as offensive as it may be, like these people say they never change their name. Like this is how, you know, people know them and this has been what they've been doing and they know it's not a racist thing or nothing offensive. But, you know, if you're not from New Orleans, like a lot of shit we do in New Orleans, people don't understand anyway. Mm -hmm. Second lines, they like, why y'all second line and at a dead person uh, what funeral? Is that? It's like we get the, we, it's like a band that come together and they dancing and stuff and they playing this music and stuff and everybody dancing. They're like, what are y'all doing this for? And y'all just lost somebody. But that's a it's, part of our culture. It's like a celebration of life. Like, yeah. they don't understand like a lot of things that we do. Like they think all second line stuff is dealing with death. Like, so we have like the sidewalks that was a like big second line parade. They be like, what the hell? Like they don't, it, it, New Orleans is like a different place. It's different, yeah, it's, it's different. And it different. would take a lot of like, you would have to really do your research on, on like the whole culture to really understand why everything is how it is. But, but you know, people be, cause they say, well people consider most of the culture from New Orleans more so. All they think about is voodoo, the voodoo, the voodoo yeah. and all that stuff like that, the spiritual aspect. Yeah. Instead of, you know, the other stuff. And if this man said black makeup is not the same as black face, like, he was like, he had to explain this to so many people. Girl, like, it's like a whole article on CNN and a bunch of different. Oh, God. Because this how they end. <laughs> girl, look. Because this how they come to Mardi Gras. Like, they, everybody looks like this. Like, the whole entire Zoom parade. Are you crazy? My family is, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I, I ain't gonna lie. My experience with it, outside of the negativity and like the backlash from people talking about the black face, it was awesome. Like from the time you get on that float and you turn that corner where you can finally start throwing these beads and stuff, it's like a rush, like an adrenaline rush. Like it's, it, all of these people is just like, as soon as you turn the corner, it's full of people from start to stop of the parade. And they just be, like throw me something. Girl, it was so fun. You drinking on the flow, you dancing, you listening to music, you vibing with the people. They going crazy for the beats and shit. Like, oh my goodness, yo. These people, I be like, y'all gonna throw this shit away. And the most popular thing is the coconuts because you put the year on the coconut. And you design, you decorate your coconut real pretty, so everybody coming up to the floor like, I want a coconut, I want a coconut, give me a coconut, like everybody, girl, because they collect them, they oh. like collect them. So it was it was cool, and they really enjoyed herself too. Was it her first time ever being like on the float? Float? Yeah, that was my first time riding on the float. Oh. Like as a kid, I always wanted to ride. Like always. <laughs> she wanted. 
and but I just never really got into it. I was like, one day I'm gonna ride. So this year I was like, I'm riding that for. <laughs> so um, we rode with the male Zulu, and it was cool though. I really, really enjoyed it. It was like dope experience. experience. Like it's like it's one of the things you can't even really explain. You gotta just be there in the moment. It's so live, like lit. And then you get so many different vibes of it. Cause when you turn that corner on Arlene's and all them black folks right there, the <laughs> whole up. energy shift. <laughs> it's like a whole different turn up. <laughs> Man, that shit's so lit. I'm definitely doing it again. So for somebody that has never went to Mardi Gras, what would you tell me? Like, what would my itinerary be like? You'd be like, okay. Drea came down there. Drea was down there hosting with my homeboy, Larry. So we took them out. We, we Like, what would be the one of How would you tell me to do it? Okay, I would tell you, as a tourist, like, experience at Mardi Gras, I would say, even though I didn't want to go on Bourbon Street, but I had people that But why not? Work. I heard that. Because I, I heard the Orleans. Oh, okay, like, okay, okay. Like, okay. You like Bourbon Street, I want to do yeah. it. Okay. Yeah. It just be so many people, girl. They, they, they be showing their boobs for beads, like cutting up <laughs> on the bed. Like, it just be a whole movie. But we, we went, what we did was we went to eat. Then we went for a hot restaurant. Where would I go? You, my rose is good. Boom. Um, they have uh redfish grill. They have okay. Einstein Cafe. They have um Dragos. They have Neos. They have um Oceana Grill. It's so many good damn places to eat in New Orleans. Like the food is amazing. That's one of the things people love about New Orleans is the food. But I would say go eat good. Go, you have to go on Bourbon Street and experience like Bourbon Street. Around so I see people had a little drink the it's hand called, grenades. It's Boom, hand grenades. the hand grenades. You I thought try hand them. grenade and daiquiris. That's a must. <laughs> and like, girl, we went to all these different bars. Like, we was bar hopping from oh bar, to bar to bar to bar to bar to bar. Everybody, want, they wanted to kept taking shots. You know, I don't drink like that. But I was being a good host. A, I was just about to say, I'm gonna have a good time. Man, I ain't never go to sleep. Girl, I left from bar hopping with them and I had to go get my face painted for Zulu at three o'clock in the morning. So I was out all night with them and went straight to the uh, hotel to get painted and eat breakfast to get on the floor at five o'clock. Oh my God. So like, what time that parade so started? started? That parade started, you have to be on the float by what? 6.30, 7 o'clock. I think the actual parade started at eight. But you gotta line up and get in order. Like it's a bunch of floats, so they have to fill in the bands in between the floats. So you all, all of y'all have to go line up and be ready. So one float take off and a band come in between, and some else come in between, and another float. And you know what I'm saying? And then two people died this Mardi Gras season, so they had to readjust some things. Like they had to like take that a, during the parade. Yes, Gertie was running behind a float and got caught and rolled over. All kind of sad stuff was going on. Like not in the parade I was in, but in the parade days before Mardi Gras. Mm -hmm. Like other big parades, which was very extremely sad. Like it's supposed to be a carnival season. You're supposed to be enjoying yourself, having a good time, and people losing their life. But what happened was they said it was the connecting floats. The people was trying to, I guess, see people they knew on the floor was running behind the floor, got trapped or something, and somebody got rolled over like by the floor. So we were on a connecting floor too. Mm -hmm. The mayor of the city or somebody, they they was like they didn't want no more connecting floats in the parade, so they had to put tractors on each of the floats last minute. So they, cause we was on the mail float, it connects, it was A and B. Mm -hmm. We was on B. But when they stopped them from connecting, they had to put a tractor on each one. Mm -hmm. So the pull it, it. yeah. So that, so instead of 18, I was supposed to be on what? Anyway, I ended up being on 20, but originally I was on 19. So it was it's sad. Yeah, it was so sad. But because you just come out and have a good time. Yeah, you just come out there and have a good time. You maybe have extra right here on this side, baby. We, <laughs> see we flipping and flapping. <laughs> I love this protective style, y'all.